What's going on, you guys? Kid on the camera here. Rejoice here. Right there. And today, I once again wanted to do a different kind of video and hopefully shut the book on this tea situation once and for all. I told you guys at the end of yesterday's vlog that I was going to talk about it one more time. Uh, that might be two more times because I'm still planning on going on drama alert. But this is one of those last two times because I can't keep defending myself from baseless claims that she puts out. I showed you guys that we gave her money when she said we didn't. I showed you guys that we were friends when she says that we weren't. I showed you guys that she admitted to egging our houses even though she said that she didn't egg our houses even though she said that she did egg our houses. You know, <laughs> it's getting to a point where it's just gotten ridiculous. I can't keep having to defend myself. She texted Bridget the night after that video came out and she was like, you went too far going after my father. I said he was amazing. I said he was a great man. I'm not attacking your father. I love your father. He's been nothing but cool to me, to Bridget, to dad, anybody I've ever seen him interact with. He's a cool guy. There's no issues with him. Nobody, nobody's attacking him. I saw some people saying that in the video, I was looking away and blinking too much, which means that I was lying. You played too much LA Noir, okay? <laughs> Press B for deception. <laughs> Look, he's lying, he's totally lying. Like guys, I'm just trying to let you guys know my side of the story. I don't have to lie. I showed you screenshots that showed that we were cool to her. I showed you everything and she's still denying it. So I'm hoping that this is the last time that I have to say anything about her because by the time I end this intro, you're gonna see why I, I don't wanna do it anymore. So the first thing that she tried to say are that the screenshots were photoshops. Well, right here. We thank you for the heat today because I'm freezing my ass off. I was calling to let you know something. So here she is acknowledging once again that we helped her out even though she says that we didn't. On Christmas Day, she says, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate. That makes me feel like we're family. Or stop by to say Merry Christmas. That means a lot to my family. Thanks. I thank you very much for being there for us and being there for you. We're going to be a great Christmas because of y'all. And then down here, she says, once again, my dad, once again, just wanted to say thanks to my dad. Thanks for my dad. So if, if we were such horrible people, how do we give her such a great Christmas? Now, one thing that you're probably noticing is the fact that her text messages get sent out of order sometimes. I think it's because she is on an Android and all the messages that she sends to us, she sends in one long message and it gets sent to us pieced together, like really oddly. Like sometimes it's hard. Like, uh, I can't even make sense of it sometimes to be honest with you. Just wanted to say thanks for that money. That was too much, but I thank you. I never asked for 5,000. Are you guys crazy? Wow. Uh, wow, Albert has, look, her screenshots are hard to read, you guys, you're gonna see. Wow, Albert has Christmas now, thanks to you. Uh, I've always had your back, and I always will. No problem at all, hope, th hope it helps out with things. I got more gifts for you guys if I can stop by, and by the way, uh, I told one of those fake channels that AGP was getting married. She's gonna look so stupid. Now, I told you guys that one of the things that we were doing was having Tina feed misinformation to these other channels and we were laughing about it. Like the story about the peanut cart or Bridget being pregnant. And she tried to deny that by saying that we were just feeding it to her and she thought that it was true. Well, this is about to shoot that in the foot. Number one, if you watch the video where we give her Christmas presents, she keeps making jokes about the peanut cart. Hey, you buy a lot of peanuts with that. Oh yeah, peanut cart. <laughs> I can't get you a peanut cart for Christ's sake. <laughs> Dude. Whoa, Santa's been good to me. Hey, check that out, big people. I can buy a lot of fucking peanuts with that. <laughs> what are those? Don't get used to them, because them motherfuckers are going back to the store as soon as I run out of money with the peanut cart. I told her you're going to name your new baby Porky. Laugh my ass off. Video up. Holy shit. I love how I get her to do what I want. Now I definitely earned the peanut car. I won it Christmas morning. Laugh my fucking ass off. Laughing my fucking ass off. I'm fixing to watch. Laugh my fucking ass off. Everybody is fucking laughing their asses off because she said you heard it here first. Laugh my ass off just watching. Yeah. Bridget said, you could say you just left our house for Christmas and we told you a bunch of shit. Laugh my ass off. Going to do it right now. Laugh my ass off. All right. 
I'm talking to her right now, so you'll probably see it on Twitter here in a few. Whether any of us want to believe it or not, we're going to have what we're going to watch each other's back at the end of the day. I'm going to on Twitter right now. Laugh my ass off. Nice. Cool. Albert loves his shoes. He's cleaning the bottoms of them. I'm glad he likes them. I appreciate it. It's like, seriously, I thought you hated us and we treated you like shit. Bridget, go watch our new video. It's about you getting married to Michael. Laugh mass off. I just watched it. Ha 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 ha. Good job, Tina. I told you this effing straight up. I won't say that word. She wants me in her life so bad that she would say anything I tell her. What the fuck? Uh, we're seeing your food again. I'm just going to keep feeding her shit. I don't know what that means. We got Albert's shoes today. They're cool. Hopefully he likes him. Thank you. I'm giving myself an Academy Award for Christmas. The best bullshitter. And that was December 13th. Once again, this is about feeding those channels misinformation. I just told her that Mike was going to propose to you on Christmas and he's going to make you sign a prenup, but that he's supposed to be partners and he's going, I don't know what she's saying, but apparently I was going to make Bridget sign a prenuptial agreement, which I would never do that, Bridget. Okay. Oh. Seriously. Oh yeah, Bridget was trying to tell that we're doing the pancake video here at our house and grandpa's going to destroy a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's another thing that she said. Number one, that Bridget was with me for the money. Now guys, you've been with me as long as Bridget has. We did not have any money when I met Bridget, okay? This girl was sleeping with me on a twin-size mattress with springs popping out of it, cutting us, and we had no money. We would go on one date a month because we couldn't afford it. Are you gonna cry? It's, don't worry about it. Hey, I know that you're not with me for the money because I didn't have anything when I met you. I had nothing, you guys. And she was with, and this is what happens. This is what, this is what this bitch is doing. I had nothing when I met Bridget. We didn't even make money on any of these videos until like 2012, so we did it for free. So when people say we do it for the money, we didn't make anything for like four years. When they say that she's with me for the money, I didn't have shit when I met her. I would never make her sign a prenuptial agreement because she's the most important person in my life. I mean that. I would never make her do that. Fuck that, I'm not gonna cry for this stink bait bitch. Rather than just go through every text message that we have, I'm just gonna jump down to June to show you guys that this didn't just start recently. We're gonna go all the way to the beginning of last year. We're going to June where she was thanking us for giving her money and asking when she can meet up to get it. Thank you guys for helping me again. If you need anything, we if you need anything, whether isn't legal or not, I have your back. So you would do something illegal for us. I got approved for that apartment. As soon as I give him the money, I was going to ask you, do you think you guys could put my lawnmower and stuff in your garage? Because grandpa said he doesn't have enough room and I don't want my father to profit off myself because I'm cutting all ties with the family. So I'm just wondering, what do you think? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Bridget. Hey, would you ask Mike, would it be a good time to meet me so I can give him the money at the, I'm at the courthouse now. I will pay you back one way or the other. I told him the AGP show was giving me the money. So I just showed you guys that the text messages that she tried to say we photoshopped were 100% authentic. I showed my screen, I swiped. Hey T, can you do the same thing? I'd like for you to do the same thing that I just did because I don't think you can because they're gonna see that the text messages on my phone are the same text messages on your phone. I showed you guys that she was playing these other people that think are her friends right now that she still talks about. Hey guys, the same thing that she's doing to us talking about behind our backs, she was doing the same thing to you. The only difference is when I found out, I was done with her. You won't do the same. I showed you guys she egged my house, even though she later said she didn't egg my house, even though she's already admitted to egging my house, even though she's saying that she didn't. Well, the question is, did my house get egged? Well, let's go find out. So this right here was when we got egged the second time. Uh, this right here, we didn't notice until yesterday. So it's gonna take a lot to clean this shit now. And there's more right here. I guess that's what rotten eggs looks like. Oh my God. There are still shells on our porch that we haven't gotten up yet. Because they were thrown at our door right here. And hey, look, there was one right there. There are eggshells on our roof right now that we can't even get off because nobody knows how to freaking do it. We gotta hire somebody to come clean the shit off of our roof. My house got egged. She admitted to assaulting angry grandpa by cracking his knee. I'll kill him. Dead. Yeah. Pieces of shit. I'll go to the clown video. 
<laughs> I broke it. Babe. 